So Jared Goff, former former first overall pick of the 2016 NFL Draft, former starting quarterback for the Rams, he is now a Detroit Lion. In the offseason, he was traded to Detroit in exchange for Matthew Stafford and a couple of draft picks. And let me just say this right now. For Jared Goff, this is not a situation I would want to be walking into. Jared Goff has a lot to overcome with the Detroit Lions. As the Detroit Lions starting quarterback, Jared Goff has a lot of very tough obstacles to overcome. Because here's the thing. Jared Goff, when he was with the Los Angeles Rams, he was in as close to a perfect situation as you could get from a quarterback standpoint. Now, again, there's no perfect situation in the NFL, but Jared Goff was pretty darn close. He has star wide receivers to throw to, a great run game, a great offensive line, a great head coach in Sean McVay. That's very that's a creative offensive mind, okay? Sean McVay knows his stuff. He also had a defense that was really, really good and a front office that made aggressive moves to get star players. The LA Rams organization is an organization that I think a lot of teams should be co- the, the way the Rams do business, more NFL teams should copy. Because the Rams, they're aggressive. They will go get star players. So what does Jared Goff have now compared to that? A head coach in Dan Campbell, that's unproven. We don't know what he is. And I doubt that he'll be better than Sean McVay. A front office that, quite frankly, is bottom five in the league, or at least has proven to be over the past five to seven seasons. You know, the the Rams' front office is arguably one of the five best front offices in all of football from top to bottom. The Lions, from top to bottom, it's one of the worst. Wide receivers for the Lions, arguably the worst in the entire league. If you look at that roster, not a whole lot of star wide receivers. TJ Hawkinson is about all you can get. He's a tight end. And the defense for the Lions is not very good. So here's the thing. We are really going to find out what Jared Goff is made of. Because if Jared Goff can overcome these obstacles obstacles with the Lions, He deserves some props. And by the way, if Jared Goff fails as a quarterback, part of it's going to be on him because he had a situation that was great with the Rams. He did not play well enough to the point where Sean McVay and the Rams organization said, hey, we can't deal with Jared Goff's problems anymore. We need to move on. So he had a good thing and he lost it. But if Jared Goff, can't win a bunch of games with the Lions or his career ends up not being what it what it ever once was in LA, I'm not gonna blame him because the Lions organization has proven to be not very good over the past couple of years. This roster is a rebuilding roster. It's not very good. And we don't know what Dan Campbell is. I'm rooting for Dan Campbell, but we don't know what he is as a head coach. Okay? So we're really going to find out what Jared Goff is made of. And also, Jared Goff is going to have to fight. Because more than likely, in his first season with the Lions, the team's not going to be very good. They're going to have a top five draft pick, more than likely. And what does that mean? That means they will be in a position to draft, potentially, a Spencer Rattler, a Sam Howell, a Keaton Slovis, or Malik Willis. A star quarterback in college. Because I could easily see the Lions using Jared Goff as a one-year rental and then drafting their quarterback for the future. Because at this point, don't we kind of know what Jared Goff is? Like, we're five, six years into his career. I don't think Jared Goff is ever going to take any more tremendous leaps. Again, I could be totally wrong. But based on what what we've seen so far, I think that we kind of know what Jared Goff is. But also, reports are that the Lions don't see Jared Goff as a stop bridge quarterback. They potentially see him as a legitimate franchise quarterback for the future. So I understand that perspective as well. You know, the Lions have to make a choice, but the bottom line is, man, 
if I'm Jared Goff, I'm going from L.A. to Detroit. Not that Detroit's a bad city, but, I mean, L.A. is L.A., people. Come on now. But if I'm Jared Goff, I feel very depressed because I went from one of the best situations in all football to one of the worst, and Jared Goff will have a lot to overcome with the Detroit Lions organization as a quarterback. Thank you so much for watching this video today. Please also note that the Juice Alert Sports Podcast is not just a YouTube channel. It is available on all podcasting platforms, including Spotify, Google Podcasts, iTunes, and Apple Podcasts. Also, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share this content with all your friends. This podcast is my favorite thing in the entire world right now. It is my passion. And I want more people to listen to this podcast. I really want this podcast to grow. Also, a fun fact about me is that I want to go into the sports broadcasting and media world once I graduate from the University of Toledo, a college in Northern Ohio. I am looking to become one of the next great sports broadcasters and analysts out in the world. And I potentially would like to start my own network if this podcast really truly grows. Or if I fall short of that goal, I would love to work for a big time network like ESPN or Fox Sports 1. I am open to all networks. So if you believe in my dreams and you see or hear my passion through the screen, be sure to tell all your friends about the Juice Alert Sports Podcast. Stay motivated, you guys. Have a God-blessed day, and I'm out.